As some of you know, my rain barrels are connected to my water pump and I set up a way to remotely turn on the pump using my smartphone. Well, occasionally I would enter my guard and forget to bring my phone. So in this video, I'm going to show you my simple method for adding a secondary remote that will always be in the garden. So let's jump right into it. So after searching online, I found a similar smart Wi-Fi switch that was the same size and has all the same features as my current switch, except it also has a radio frequency receiver built in. Now I removed my switch from the included enclosure so that I could mount the switch in the same spot as my current one, however this is optional. To temporarily provide power to the switch during the setup process, I connected the onboard USB port to a portable power source. To set up the Wi-Fi switch, you will need to install the eWe Link app and sign up for a free account. Once the app has launched, you will need to press and hold the configure button for 7 seconds and you will notice the red Wi-Fi LED light displays a different blinking pattern. Then in the app, press the plus sign at the bottom of the screen, then press the quick pairing mode button, select add one device, and then follow the on screen instructions. It's also worth pointing out that the Wi-Fi switch only supports 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi networks. So make sure you are not connected to a five gigahertz Wi-Fi connection on your cell phone when trying to start the pairing process. Once the device was added to my account, I decided to name this smart switch water pump to make it easier to identify. Once that was completed, I could then start testing the switch. I then began working on pairing the RF transmitter. The Wi-Fi switch came with its own transmitter remote, but the buttons were quite small and it takes an A23 battery which was not included and not a typical battery most people have. This is optional, but I purchased a different remote to pair with the switch that had a larger button. To pair the remote with the switch, you will need to press and hold the configure button for 3 seconds and the blue LED light should turn on. Then press the button on the remote. Once the remote was paired, I tested that the smartphone could also still control the switch. Since everything looked good so far, I figured it was time to start installing the switch. I first disconnected my electrical power sources. Also, if you're new to electrical work, consult with a certified electrician before getting started. Also, since the new switch I'm installing is almost identical to the old switch, I did not have to modify my electrical connections, so I will not spend too much time explaining the electrical wiring. However, for those of you who would like to know how I have the switch wired up, I will leave a link in the description to a very easy to follow electrical diagram. Once the old smart switch was disconnected, I began installing the new switch. I performed a secondary test to make sure everything was still working correctly. Since I wanted to leave the remote in the garden year round, I decided as a quick solution I would install the remote in a small waterproof enclosure. To keep the remote fastened to the inside of the enclosure, I used Velcro. I then installed the wall brackets. After my enclosure was installed, I powered everything back up and I also extended the antenna on the smart switch board to help improve the radio frequency range. I'm not sure if this is recommended, but as you can see when I press the button on the remote, the water pump kicks on. As a final test, I wanted to verify that both the smartphone and the remote could turn on and turn off the water pump.
It was exciting to see that everything worked without any issues. Also, it's worth pointing out that you can still activate the water pump on the Switch using the onboard push button. Overall, this was a great simple upgrade to my water pump system and I would highly recommend it if you have been following my rain barrel series. Also, if you have not already and you enjoy these types of videos, bump that like button, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos and to help spread the word about this channel. I'd also like to thank the following people for signing up to become a supporter of Green Tech Town. Your support is greatly appreciated and it helps to keep this channel going. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.